The cosmos is far too vast for man to comprehend, especially when we consider how little our planet is in comparison to other planets in our solar system, making it difficult to think that we are the only sentient beings in the universe. Scientists have just uncovered a strange gap in the cosmos that defies the principles of physics. Our human minds may struggle to comprehend a distance of 330 million light years, yet scientists have just discovered something that far away in recent news. The cosmos contains a big, gaping hole that reaches way beyond the limits of reason. The Boortes Void, found in 1981 You'll be unsurprised to learn that this discovery has drawn scientists and other aficionados to it. Robert Kirchner worked tirelessly with Michigan State University astronomers to calculate red shifts, which evaluate how quickly something is moving away from Earth. Because the universe expands, a galaxy travels faster the further it is from us, so red shift can be used to calculate distance. Kirchner and his team developed a 3D model of the universe using this, and something strange was discovered as the map developed. There was an emptiness 700 million light years away from Earth. The Milky Way could fit inside it a billion times. The scary thing about the void, according to Greg Aldering, is that if our Milky Way had been situated in the middle of the boat void, we would not have realized there were any other galaxies until the 1960s. Astronomers eventually determined that the void had just a few galaxies inside it. It has been proven to have 60 galaxies in an area that might have had 2,000 by 1997. How did this void form? At the beginning of the cosmos, all of the universe's matter was gathered closely at first, in a kind of uniform soup, but minor variations may have occurred due to random quantum fluctuations. The presence of walls, filaments and voids indicates that the early universe did not have a homogeneous structure. The cosmos that followed the Big Bang was not a cloud of energy, Rather, it was already split into structures similar to the one we have now. The only variation was the level of concentration. Some parts were crowded and others vacant. Galaxies have a web-like structure. The vast majority of galaxies in our universe may be found in lengthy filaments spiraling across space. When these formations interact, they generate structures containing more concentrated galaxies. And we have empty places with no galaxies dispersed across the strands. More comprehensive versions of Kirchner's map of the cosmos that have been developed more recently, such as the Dark Energy Survey, which has mapped out a quarter of the southern sky, covering roughly 300 million galaxies, the Boortes void is notable in that it is unimportant, as scientists have confirmed it is a vacuum. Yet it is not unique, and we may soon discover even bigger vacuums. We know the void existed previously rather than appearing out of nowhere because the cavities in the center of it could not have come about spontaneously. If the cosmos was initially homogeneous, such vast holes could not have come about. Although the earliest structures in the universe would have been built of individual atoms rather than stars and galaxies, they would have had a similar overall shape. The form has grown since then. The clouds have broken down to produce stars and galaxies and massive filaments, and the borders of the vacuums have got bigger. Quantum fluctuations are infinitely smaller than humans can observe. We can learn about these variations by gazing at the cosmos, which in turn will aid our knowledge of fundamental physics. For example, if you look at the quality of ink when you sketch an image on a balloon and then inflate the balloon to a large size, you can observe certain artifacts in the ink itself, in the details of the picture on the balloon. 
In a similar way, but using more advanced computer models, scientists can comprehend how such a large area of empty space may have been produced. Smaller voids, which are far more common, are drawn closer together by gravitational forces. A new theory suggests that the mixing of these smaller ones results in supervoids. Scientists have discovered that galaxies inside gaps have a distinctive tubular structure, which might offer a crucial clue. They compare them to how soap bubbles unite to make a single massive bubble. The Boötes void is the result of smaller voids combining. It is worth noting that the nature of such a void provides some fascinating ideas. According to Michael Lenisimov, if you happened to visit the region, you would be stunned by the solitude, with the vast distances between galaxies in the dull light of remote space. It would be extremely uncommon to come across particles such as rocks and dust. It might take eons, or never, for particles to interact with each other. Photons entering one side of the void would only be discovered hundreds of millions of years later when they reach the other side. Given what we know now about the highly non-uniform distribution of matter across the universe, astronomers have had to reconsider their perspective on the formation of galaxies. Images of Bernard 68, a black nebula that does not allow light to penetrate it, has been compared to the Bortes void. Because the nebula is significantly closer and there are a few stars in front of it, the photos of Bernard 68 are much darker than those of the void. Comprehensive simulations of the universe's history can recreate the universe's first moments following the Big Bang, and by contrasting and comparing these simulations with maps of the universe as we know it, astronomers get insight into the previous state of the cosmos. What will they learn next? We'll have to wait and see. But what do you think? Please do let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and click the notification icon to get notified of all new activities on the channel. See you in the next video.